Assalamu alaikum. We know materials which allow electric current to pass through them are known as conductors. There are certain materials which do not allow current to pass through them. We call them such materials as non-conductor or insulator. The gases do not allow current to pass through them. So they are referred as insulators or non-conductors. But they can be made to allow current at a certain circumstances. In this video, we will discuss how one can make gases to allow electric current. We call this as electric discharge through gases. Here, electric discharge means conduction of electric current through gases. To allow electric current to pass through gas, we use a special device known as discharge tube. Discharge tube is a device used to study the conduction of current through gases. It is made of a glass and usually half a meter in length and a four centimeter in diameter. Okay, it appears something like this. This is a discharge tube. I told you earlier it is made of a glass. So the length of uh, this wall is 50 centimeter, 50 centimeter length and the diameter is 4 centimeter. Okay, and uh, it is filled with uh, some gas. Suppose uh, I want to study the electric discharge through oxygen, then I will fill this with the oxygen gas. So usually while uh, performing this kind of experiment, we require a gas in pure form. Okay, and apart from this, to vary the pressure, the tube is provided with a nozzle. Huh? There is a nozzle here. This nozzle is attached. This, it is provided with a, a cock or a stop cock. Using this, uh, we can open or close it. And it is uh, attached to a vacuum pump through a pressure gauge in order to measure the pressure inside the discharge tube. So this is the setup. And apart from this, it has got two metal discs kept inside this. One metal disc at this end, another metal disc is placed on the other end of the tube. Now these two metal discs are called as electrodes. The electrode which is attached or which is connected to positive terminal is referred as anode, this anode. And the electrode which is attached to negative terminal of the power supply is referred as cathode. This is the cathode of the discharge of tube. Okay. Now, uh, how one can make gases to conduct current? Gases allows the current when they are kept at the low pressure. At the normal uh, atm atmospheric pressure, gases do not allow current to pass through them. Whereas when we reduce the pressure to certain extent, at low pressure, this starts conducting electric current. Okay. So now suppose this uh, discharge tube is filled with some gas and it is at a certain uh, pressure. Now I reduce the pressure to 110 millimeter of mercury. Here millimeter of mercury is a unit used to measure the pressure of a given gas. So at 110 millimeter of mercury, no discharge through the gas is observed. It is observed that gas do not allow current to pass through it. No discharge. So 
the pressure is reduced further with the help of a vacuum pump. The, uh, the, the gas is evacuated, okay, and is, uh, slowly is removed outside, such that the pressure can reduce. When the pressure is reduced to 100 millimeter of mercury, the gas starts discharging, okay, it uh, allows electric current to pass through it, okay, so it discharges observed. I told you discharge here represents a uh, Conduction of current through the gas. When it is reduced further, it shows the irregular streaks of light. So at this particular pressure, it starts discharging. When we start reducing the pressure further, it shows the irregular streaks of light. So you can say at a pressure around this, it shows irregular streak of light. Irregular streaks of light streaks of light which is accompanied with the crackling sound not only we observe irregular streaks of light even crackling sound is heard at this uh, pressure or from this crackling sound crackling sound is heard at this point so all these things uh, clearly shows that the gas has started conducting current okay now let's see what happened when the pressure is reduced further when the pressure inside the discharge tube is reduced to 10 millimeter of mercury 10 millimeter of mercury at 10 millimeter of mercury the gap between anode and cathode shows a luminous band it shows a luminous band which extends from anode towards the cathode here this luminous band which is observed at 10 millimeter of mercury is called as positive column a luminous uh, column is observed here we call this a uh, luminous column as a luminous column is observed luminous column this luminous column is known as positive column because it starts from anode is known as positive column positive column okay then when the, the pressure is reduced further at the 0 0.01 millimeter See, the pressure is reduced. Uh, just take straight. At the point zero one millimeter of mercury, this luminous column, which present between anode and cathode, it disappears, and it is replaced with a dark space. No, so the space between anode and cathode is replaced with a dark space. Okay, we call this a dark space as. Krug's dark space. Krug's dark space. So, I told you at uh, this uh, pressure, luminous column is replaced with a dark space known as Krug's dark space. At this uh, stage, what happened? The outer glass glows with a green light. It glows green. Crookes uh, dark space is uh, formed inside, and the glass uh, glows green. So this clearly shows uh, a phenomenon known as fluorescence. Fluorescence is observed at this uh, pressure, at this uh, pressure. Okay, and here this uh, fluorescence is due to the eminent of uh, some sort of invisible radiation. Some kind of uh, invisible radiation is coming out of this discharge tube at this particular pressure okay and uh, it is found that the invisible radiation which are coming out of uh, the discharge tube is nothing but cathode ray what is that cathode ray okay so at the 
पॉइंट जीरो वन मिलीमीटर ऑफ मर्करी डिस्चार्ज ट्यूब स्टार्ट गिविंग आउट कैथोड रे वट इज दिस कैथोड रे कैथोड रे इज नथिंग बट अ स्ट्रीम ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन्स लेट एट इज फाउंड दैट कैथोड रे कंप्रोइज ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन्स कैथोड रे इज नथिंग बट स्ट्रीम ऑफ electrons okay so let me repeat this once again at the one of uh, at the point uh, 01 mm of mercury the luminous column is replaced with a dark space called as krug's dark space and uh, glass walls of a discharge tube glows uh, green it is due to fluorescence and here at this particular uh, pressure it emits out uh, some sort of invisible radiation Which is uh, named as cathode ray, and it is nothing but stream of electrons. This is how the presence of cathode ray was uh, discovered. I hope uh, the video is useful. If you have any kind of doubt uh, relevant to the topic, kindly put your question in the comment section. Thanks for watching.